When the Texas Senate gaveled into session Wednesday morning, one member was missing. Democrat Carlos Uresti started his day in handcuffs and shackles, being led to a San Antonio courtroom for a hearing. Senator Uresti faces federal charges of fraud and money laundering. Paul Venema reports on how the senator is responding to those accusations. Flanked by his attorney and his wife, State Senator Carlos Oresti emerged from the hearing with his spin on the charges. I am innocent of these charges. Charges related to an alleged Ponzi scheme in which Oresti and two others, Gary Kane and Stanley Bates, bought fracking sand with money from investors. I look forward to my day in court when all the facts come out and the truth and not just what's been written in the press. Oresti, Kane, and Bates arrived early for processing by the U.S. Marshal's office. They were then moved in handcuffs and shackles to the federal courthouse for the informal hearing. There, the charges, including wire fraud, money laundering, and securities fraud, were explained by the magistrate judge. All three men were part of a company called Four Winds at the time of the alleged offenses. As they left the courthouse, I asked his lawyer about those charges. What is the basis of all these charges? You got me. Carlos called him unfounded. I, I think. What does this go back to? I think unfounded would be polite. What well, state would answer no questions as they left. I'm headed back to Austin, back to the Capitol, to do what I was elected to do by the voters, and that's to fight. That was Paul Venema reporting from San Antonio. All three men were released on bond. They'll be back in court on May 31st for their formal arraignment. Of course, being indicted does not mean you're guilty of the crime. And Senator Oresti is not the only elected official in Texas serving while under indictment. State Attorney General Ken Paxton faces fraud charges over accusations he misled investors in a company. The alleged fraud happened before Paxton became Attorney General. Last week, a state appeals court put the case on hold as Paxton's lawyers worked to get a new judge in the case. In January, a grand jury indicted Austin Democrat Donna Dukes. She's accused of spending campaign funds for personal use and tampering with records. Last month, a district judge denied a request to dismiss four of the 13 felony charges against Dukes. And one Texas House member is still serving despite being convicted of a crime. Ron Reynolds was convicted on five counts of illegal solicitation of legal clients, commonly known as ambulance chasing. A jury sentenced him to one year in jail, but Reynolds appealed the charges, and that appeal is still pending. Last November, the Democrat from Missouri City won re-election.